In this video, I'll be walking you through how to make a scroll to top button in the shape of a teardrop for your website. It is very simple and requires no JavaScript. We will be using this online code editor for the tutorial. Here we have some placeholder text so that we can scroll down later. First, in the footer, add a div with the class scroll arrow. This is the teardrop shape element. In CSS, style the class with a black background and an equal width and height to create a square. We will make a fixed position at the bottom left of the page. For styling purposes, we will also make it slightly transparent. To shape it into a teardrop, we will essentially have one 90 degree corner and the other three will be rounded. For that, we will put a border radius of 50% for the three corners, leaving the top right corner untouched. Then we will transform rotate it by negative 45 degrees. There we have our teardrop shape. Next, we will put the text on it. Create another div in the footer and give it a class scroll text. Wrap the word top in the div. In CSS, style the class with a white font color and give it a fixed position also at the bottom left of the page. Because we put the text div above the shape div, the text is currently displaying underneath the shape. All we have to do is give each of the div classes a Z index, with the shapes div having a lower number, such as 9 and 10 for the text. You could put the text div below the shapes div. We still recommend putting a Z index to ensure that the scroll to top button will always display above other elements on the page. Now the text should show up on top of the teardrop shape. For the HTML anchor, we will create another div in the header this time with the ID scroll top. Then correspondingly create an A element with the href hashtag scroll top. We will wrap the other two divs in the footer we created in that A element. Now the button should work. For a better viewing experience, give the HTML a scroll behavior smooth value in the CSS. And for extra customizations, you can give the text a hover color. We made it light green. Now, if we open up the page in another browser, for example, in the GNOME browser, you can see the text extends outside of the teardrop shape. To prevent that from happening, remember to style the class scroll text with a specific font family. If we make it Arial, the text should now fit perfectly. For fallback, we recommend you giving the text a text shadow in a similar color to the shape. So if the font fails to be deployed, or for some other reason the text displays without the teardrop shape, visitors can still identify it. This is how we made our scroll to top button. It is our design and you may change it up however you like to integrate it into the theme of your website. You can find the HTML and CSS code on our website and interact with the embedded code editor. P.S. We got the inspiration for the teardrop shape from playing a challenge on CSS Battle. It is a fun game to improve your CSS skills. Go check it out! Thank you for watching! Bye!